The New Orleans Department Police Department SWAT team still has a suspect surrounded out on Alabama Street. Well, they've been out at that home near Delman Road for nearly 10 hours after a man opened fire on officers. Our Mike McDaniel has been out there all evening and has the latest. Mike, what is happening right now? Yeah, can you believe it's been that long? It's all happening about two blocks behind me on Alabama Street as officers try to convince this man barricaded inside of a home to surrender. It has been a long day for this neighborhood and continues into the night. A seemingly usual day in a New Orleans East neighborhood Wednesday was suddenly blocked off with yellow police tape. Another day with crime in the city. Police say that crime was an aggravated battery in the 7700 block of Alabama Street involving a woman and her 43 year old son. When officers got there, police say the man started shooting at them. Officers did not fire back and no one was shot. The unidentified man then barricaded himself inside a home. Folks who live in this neighborhood just wanted things to end peacefully. It's a very quiet neighborhood, so that's why we're wondering how this came about because all up and down from, from Dalman to Haynes, that's all we have is good people and good homes back here. The suspect's mother, an off-duty deputy with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office, was injured and taken to the hospital. A JPSO spokesman says what happened is an unfortunate family matter being handled by the NOPD. Jefferson Parish Sheriff Joe Lepinto even showed up to check on his deputy, but she was already taken to the hospital. And we're told that deputy is OK tonight. And just to be clear, she was not shot. She was just injured during that dispute with her son. The SWAT team is here, a mobile command center, EMS, and lots of police officers. You can see behind me, streets are still blocked off. And police have not yet, not yet released the identities of those people involved, the mother and son. Live in New Orleans East, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, hopefully this ends peacefully and soon. Thank you so much for that update.